Atomic bombs of the sort that destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki became obsolete when hydrogen bombs became a possibility. The United States tested its first in 1952. This video shows the first Soviet H-bomb test of a device with an explosive yield of 1.6 megatons of TNT equivalent in a test that accidentally killed two people. The next year, the Soviet Air Force took delivery of its first intercontinental bomber. Barring any problems with delivery, RDS-37 marked the beginning of the Soviet capability to destroy unprotected cities in the United States. This footage shows the expected effect of an early atomic bomb on a civilian settlement. The mock-up town that was used, popularly known as the Doomtown ever since, was set up for Operation Teapot's Apple II test on May 5, 1955, in which an atomic bomb with a 29 kiloton yield was detonated nearby. Everything exposed is immediately scorched before being completely blown to smithereens by the resulting shockwave. The results of this U.S. nuclear test are especially unsettling, considering that the homes used in Apple II's Doomtown were designed to be significantly stronger than the typical American home of that time period, and that the bomb used in the test was of a far lower explosive yield than the thousands of nuclear warheads that can be launched across the world by missiles at any moment. On October 30th, 1961, the Soviet Union tested the most powerful nuclear bomb of all time, and the most powerful explosive device of all time, with an explosive yield of 50 megatons. The full footage of the test, about 40 minutes in length, was released by the Russian government in 2020. The bomb, which weighed a staggering 27 tons, was fitted with an 800 kilogram parachute, and the aircraft transporting it was painted with white anti-flash paint to reflect the heat from the explosion, since it wasn't guaranteed that the planes involved 
would make it to a safe distance in time for the explosion. This minimum safe distance was estimated to be 45 kilometers from ground zero. Экипаж одевает защитные очки. И выдает команды запуска аппаратуры опытного поля. Точно по расчету сработала парашютная система. Бомба приближается к точке взрыва. Высота 4000 метров. Осталось три секунды. Две. Одна. Ноль. Поднимающийся с земли быстро увеличился в объеме. Через несколько секунд после взрыва диаметр полевого столба составлял около 10 километров. When the Tsar Bomba went off, the zone of severe and total destruction extended to at least 55 kilometers, and the thermal radiation from the blast would have inflicted at least third-degree burns on any exposed person within a 100-kilometer radius. It was, and remains, the single most powerful explosive ever used. Its explosive force made it thousands of times more powerful than the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and three times more powerful than the largest U.S. nuclear explosion during the Castle Bravo test. One of the most shocking nuclear explosion videos is of a nuclear test shot named Dog, conducted by the US military as part of Operation Buster Jangle. The purpose of the exercise was to test soldiers' physical and psychological readiness for combat after witnessing a close-range nuclear explosion. Troops witnessed the explosion from 7 miles away, or 11 kilometers away. And immediately after the 21 kiloton explosion occurred, 940 unprotected troops were ordered to move on foot to an objective located just 460 meters from ground zero.
Of the personnel from the four armed services who were exposed to radiation from the test, those present from the army received the highest doses by far. The 900 troops that took part in the maneuver were just a fraction of the 235,000 personnel who participated in atmospheric nuclear tests conducted by the United States from 1945 to 1963. Only in 1990 did the United States agree to compensate soldiers and civilians who suffered health problems as a result of exposure to these tests.